Welcome back. It is my pleasure to be with Paul Wapple with the United Cerebral Palsy. Paul, tell me about your involvement with UCP. Thank you, Susan. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, I've been a trustee with UCP for 15, 16 years, uh, which means I support the uh, organization any way I can. I go to special events, and I've been a telethon host for 15, 16 years as well, and I really enjoy volunteering. It's uh, a labor of love for me. For those watching who may not be familiar with UCP, can you give us a little background about your organization? Sure. Uh, UCP has been in this community for uh, several decades, and they do wonderful things in the community. They help uh, adults and children with physical and or mental disabilities. Uh, they have summer camps. They have day camps. They have uh, programs that try to help uh, children and adults uh, get gainful employment in the community. Tell us about some of the UCP enterprises. Sure. Uh, Gone for Good is one. It's a document destruction uh, that, or a process that uh, you can go through and businesses can call. Uh, the state of Illinois has, uh, we've had a contract with them for a while. Um, and, and you can have your confidential documents shredded uh, at UCP. And some of the folks uh, that work there have disabilities and they're on the payrolls or get, they're paying taxes, which, which is great. And UCP's done a great job uh, with Gone for Good. Uh, another program is Inc. 186 that they have, and I have something for you, Susan. This is what uh, the students, the vocational students from the uh, public high schools wow. in Springfield, in the area uh, Springfield, have done. And this is a city tournament one oh, that they've done gosh. for this year's city tournament. You can see all wow. four schools are on there. If we can get a shot of that, yeah, this and is the Inc. beautiful. That's the Inc. 186 program, which is fantastic. Uh, kids get to work on these. It's it's rewarding, and it, it's it's through the schools. And uh, it's a partnership with UCP, and it's been it's been a great success. And anybody, not just not just people for like the school district shirts. Anybody, you, me, anybody else, any business can can order shirts, and they have mugs, they have buttons that they do. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's so rewarding for them. They just they love it, and the smiles on their faces. I just left there again a few minutes ago, and it's just it's incredible how rewarding it is for these kids, and they're doing buttons, and they're getting so many shirts ready. They've been getting ready for the city tournament. Mm -hmm. um, here's a shirt I want to show you as well that they did. In 186 oh, that is, is what we're great. talking about. And you can have this shirt, Susan. This is specially made for you. Oh, I love it. All Thank right. you yep. so much. Thank you, kids, for doing this. Absolutely. I they, it. they do they do great work and um, it, it's just a great program. And they have all all kinds of services. Um, a couple of success stories, Susan. Nick Sunder, who knows just about everybody in Springfield, his mom and dad have been involved with UCP, and uh, Nick is 25, 26 years old now, works at St. John's Hospital through the uh, UCP's White Glove Professionals Program. Mm -hmm. And you see Nick around, and he's getting paid, and um, it's just, it just, it's wonderful. And, and during the telethon, uh, once a year, we get to share these success stories, and Nick Sunder is one of them. Um, Julie Heron has been with Hanson Professional Services in town. She has been clerical services. She has a disability. It's just, it's, it, there's so many success stories, it's incredible. Tell me about the telethon coming up, Paul. I know this is near and dear to your heart. What can people watching um, expect when they watch your telethon? You know, Susan, uh, it's great. It's it's one of my most. It's probably my most favorite day of the year as far as being a volunteer with UCP is because goes because um, you'll you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll have some tears. Um, you see the success stories of the children and adults, and you know, and we're we're trying. The goal is to try to let them uh, enjoy life like anybody else would. And their lives are getting better uh, thanks to this community, the support of this community. We also, of course, uh, ask the community to, to, to support financially uh, the telethon. It's 11 to 5 o'clock, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Sunday, January 29th on WAND-TV. And it's live from Brant this year. We appreciate Brant uh, being supportive of UCP again this year. And we'll be at Brant, uh, like I said, for the for the whole telethon. It'll be live. And um, there's no NFL football on that day, so you can watch the telethon. <laughs> we do it before the Super Bowl. so No um, excuses, that's right? That's right, no excuses. <laughs> and, um, you know, there's opportunities for people to volunteer during the telethon as well, Susan. So um, if someone says, oh, gosh, I'm out of town, I, I can't watch the telethon, what can they do to, uh, to, um, to support, it, to support uh, UCP during another time? That's a great question. Uh, they can call Renee Fine or anybody at the UCP office at 525-6522, 525-6522. And uh, if they want to make a pledge early or after the telethon, that is fine. Absolutely, it's appreciated. And the Springfield Central Illinois community um, has been so great, Susan. Um, UCP UCP serves 27 counties, and uh, it just, it's great to have a, a nonprofit like UCP and be involved, to be involved with them. 
And other times of the year, I'm sure you need volunteers and support, not only at the telethon time of the year. Right. During the summer is a good time um, uh, for the summer camp and day camp. Volunteers are needed then. And one thing, other thing I want to mention is that we, UCP offers respite for parents and uh, the, the caregivers who need a break uh, from their child or adult with a disability. They need a little time away, and UCP offers that as well. That's great. Thanks so much, Paul, for being on the Friendly Auto Show. And I'm going to I'm gonna hold up this shirt again because <laughs> this is fabulous. I love it. Inc. 186. You, Inc. 186. And as you said, these kids can make these shirts for other businesses or individuals. So, um, wow, this is really great. Thanks so much, Paul. Thank you, Susan. We'll be right back.